How is life treating you? This is my gig box, April 2018. Just so you're not going mad, this is not me sitting on a box for two years, because April 2020 now. This is a mystery my gig box box I picked up as part of a special offer, expecting it to be including items from previous boxes. In fact, they've just sent me a, I guess, leftover box from two years ago there. But luckily I hadn't bought this one first time around. I've not looked at any reviews, so I don't know what's in it. It's sort of medium type weight, fairly big size box. So let's see what you would have got, as if for the first time two years later. And maybe there's a bit of gold in here. So open it up. Lots of packaging. There. Pop that later. And it looks quite small once that's removed. But we'll start off with the t-shirt. Some of these t-shirts can be quite interesting from here. Let's see what this one is. There may well be a theme. I know my geek box used to have themes, but I can't remember what they are now, going back that far. Revenge of the 800-foot Astro Ape. Witness primal terror in three dimensions. Well, I presume this is Planet of the Apes, I guess. And I guess white, red, green, if you have those 3D-type glasses and you wear those, maybe this one sort of stands out. But all right. White always looks a bit cheap for T-shirt stock, but otherwise interesting enough design. Let's put that one to one side there. Horrible attempt at unfolding it, but there you go. Uh, a few more items. They they look quite linked. We've got some Heroes of Horror. So I guess maybe this is a horror type themed box. This is from Funko, another sort of blind bag as we often get vinyl collectives. So what could we get inside? There are all these different ones. I see gremlins there. Many others I'm sure you recognize. Popular horror franchises, or one of 12 type chance. Any chasers, who knows? Anyway, they're always quite fun to open up. Then we have this, let's say, postcard or sticker, not sure. Oh, actually, it is a detail about what's inside the box. So there you go. So that is what your t shirt, or my t shirt in this case, looks like um, without looking too closely. And in fact, I'm just glancing at this through the lens of the camera and actually looks better there than if you go really close and try and make out the different reds and, and blacks. We'll come back to that one. So my box did just have themes. We have a book. Never complain about getting books. This one looks quite a fun one. Quite small hard map gamers survival guide. Get the game fit before it's game over. Um, yeah, you probably burn up all the calories playing games. Their game is supply survival guide from DK. Level up with this guide, find out how to get fit. Playing games actually looks interesting enough to devote a few minutes to. There, it could have been esports champion, get more bang for your game, play outside your contact zone, find your gaming friends. Quite a fun one there, anyway. Let's see what else we have. Just so I move position there. Pose quite uncomfortably. Uh, we have a Hulk pen or pencil, official Marvel item. That's a Hulk. That says Hulk, but but I always recognise those ones. Again, made by Funko. There's a label in the way. Let's try and get this cap off here to work out. I guess it's a pen. There's a, there is a nib. Let's move that out of the way. Yeah, nice enough. I'll put the nib back on afterwards rather than try and do that one-handed. Still got two items in a box. Uh, here we go. You know, I just said, um, well, I may have just said green and red, but possibly blue and red. You look through those and you get more of a 3D view. I suspect the chance of that working for you is, is pretty low, but I'll have a good look later just in case. But you can certainly see perhaps the blue and the red, they filter out certain parts of the image. So you can see different parts. I remember we used to get these films on TV and you used to put in your glasses with the TV times or whatever it might be and this probably 50 year old film at the time and you would see people running at you trying to pierce you with a spear or something like that and you would react. That's going back a few years because 3D films are around now but when it was little to compare it to they made more of a difference. Anyway, rambling over here's our final item some 3D coasters. I guess they work with the glasses as well. I won't try and show them. A Ready Player One. Uh, yeah, nice, nice film. Was it really two years ago that came out? Doesn't seem like it. 
there. And they have that sort of 3D effect to them. And four different designs at the back. So that's what we had actually. That looks to me, had I been there in what month did I say? April 2018. That would have been a decent box. So spam you very badly through the items. What does it say it had in their Gamer's Survival Guide? There is the Gamer's Survival Guide. Then the Pen Topper. That is the Pen Topper. Hulk is upside down. Uh, then the Lenticular Coasters. You probably can't even read that. Lenticular Coasters. Followed up by the Horror Point Size Heroes. There you go. The exclusive 3D T-shirt. And the 3D glasses. So I don't think it's really a theme as such, just a collection of items in these days when my geek box used to send you with everything a detail of what you did have included, so it'd be quite a surprise with something else inside. So thanks for watching. Quite a nice trip through memory lane here. Look forward to reading the guide, I'll wear the t-shirt, I will unbag the blind bag with horror. And uh, a fun pen and many items as well there. Speak again soon to check out the full review of this retro, two years as retro, my geek box at geeksubscriptionbox.com. That's geeksubscriptionbox.com. Thank you for watching.